Imagine being demoted from your status, not due to any fault of your own, but because the defining parameters changed. That's exactly what happened to Pluto. This celestial body, once recognized as the ninth planet in our solar system, was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. The International Astronomical Union, the governing body of celestial nomenclature, was behind this decision. But why was Pluto demoted? And could it ever regain its planetary status? Let's dive into this cosmic controversy. To understand why Pluto was demoted, we need to understand what it means to be a planet. According to the International Astronomical Union, there are three criteria a celestial body must meet to be considered a planet. First, it must orbit the Sun. No problem there, Pluto has been dutifully circling our star since time immemorial. Second, it needs to be round or nearly round. Again, Pluto checks out. Its shape, while not a perfect sphere, is close enough to meet this requirement. However, it's the third criterion where Pluto falls short. To be a planet, a celestial body must clear its orbit, meaning it needs to be the dominant gravitational force in its path around the Sun. It must be able to sweep away or consume other bodies in its orbit, but in Pluto's case, it shares its orbit with various icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond Neptune teeming with comets, asteroids, and other small bodies. Pluto's inability to clear its orbit is the reason it was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. This decision by the International Astronomical Union sparked a significant debate in the scientific community, with many arguing uh, that the definition of a planet should be more inclusive. So, because of this technicality, Pluto was stripped of its planetary status. But not everyone agreed with this decision. Despite the official ruling, a group of scientists and space enthusiasts continue to advocate for Pluto. They argue that Pluto meets all the criteria of a planet and more. They point to its complex and active geology, its five moons, and its unique atmosphere as evidence of its planetary status. These Pluto supporters don't see it as a mere dwarf planet, but as a vibrant and dynamic world full of surprises. One of the strongest arguments for Pluto's planetary status came from the New Horizons mission. The spacecraft's flyby revealed a world teeming with geological activity. It showed us mountains as high as the Rockies, deep canyons, and surfaces that are constantly changing. It gave us a glimpse into a world that's far more complex and interesting than we ever imagined. These revelations have added fuel to the debate. But could they be enough to reclassify Pluto? The quest for Pluto's planetary status isn't just about one dwarf planet, it's about understanding our solar system. Now, let's take a moment to consider a bold proposal that's been floating about in scientific circles. What if we redefine the term planet? What if we expand its meaning to include any round objects in space that are smaller than stars? Can you imagine the implications of such a shift in perspective? This revolutionary idea could dramatically change our understanding of the cosmos. Instead of the familiar eight planets in our solar system, we could potentially be looking at a staggering 100. This is not just a simple increase in numbers. It's an opportunity for us to broaden our horizons to explore and discover more about the universe we inhabit. Think about it. Each of these celestial bodies, whether they're gas giants, rocky worlds, or icy dwarfs, has its own unique story to tell. Each one contributes to the rich tapestry of our solar system, offering invaluable insights into its formation and evolution. But of course, such a radical change is not without its challenges. It would require us to rethink our textbooks, our models, and our very understanding of what it means to be a planet. So, will Pluto be a planet again? The debate rages on, but one thing is for sure, Pluto, regardless of its classification, continues to fascinate us. From a planet to a dwarf planet, Pluto's journey has been nothing short of a cosmic roller coaster ride. We've delved into the reasons behind Pluto's demotion and heard from those who oppose this decision. We've explored the riveting debate around what truly makes a planet. Despite its small size and the controversy surrounding its status, one thing remains certain Pluto has left an indelible mark on our cosmic comprehension. While we may still be debating about Pluto's status, it's clear that this little celestial body has made a big impact on our understanding of the universe.